Okay, so had a reader, I should say viewer, <laughs> reader of comments, viewer of uh, uh, videos, uh, writer of comments, ask about the um, G2, G3, G4 fans and whether they were interchangeable. And so I thought, wow, that is a good question because I had kind of wondered that myself. So I thought I'd make a, uh, hopefully a short video here talking about the three kinds of fans for the, the G2, G3, G4. G1, it's so different, I'm not gonna deal with it. G5 is literally identical to the G4. So if you've got a G4 fan, it will fit in the G5 um, without a problem. So um, I've got here, this is a typical G2 fan, G3 and G4. And if you look at them, I mean, obviously this, you know, this color black, these are silver, but all in all, when you look at them on the surface, you go, wow, those look like they would, should be interchangeable. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when you take these different ones and put them in and what will, or I should say, what won't work uh, and why. And uh, even though it is a little de deceiving and you think that you can pull them over. So right away with the G2, we notice that the um, fan wire is over here on the side where with these others, it goes up here because these thread past the um, uh, caddy and then connect in where this, there's a little connector right on the side that it goes right into. So let me show you and what this looks like when you put it into the different units. So this is in its native G2, goes in nicely. And there's a connector right there that it goes into. If I take the G3, you might say, oh, well, it's not going to because the, the its connector is way over here. And I'm pretty sure the connector would, would work without a problem. Uh, these are pretty basic as far as the fans. They're like uh, 12 volt fans. They're they plus or minus maybe 0 0.2 on the amperage, uh, but for everything else they're pretty much the same. But if I put it into the little slots here, right away it's not even fitting. See, it's not even going to go. Get that a little better better view. It's not even going to fit. So even if I could get it in, I'm not going to have enough wire, so it's definitely not going to fit there. And likewise, on a uh, um, G4, with the G4, you'll notice, let's get this one out of the way. With the G4, the problem is that this just isn't white enough. You know, if I um, take my G4 fan and compare it, it there's just not quite the, um, eh, it's kind of hard to see here, but the width is just enough off that it just doesn't slide in there. So G2 is only going to work in a G2. Um, and then likewise, if I were... So now let's take the G, got so many different fans, sorry. Now let's take the G3. So here's a G3 trying to go into a G4. I'm trying to stick it in there. Same idea is that it's just not wide enough uh, to connect on the side. It doesn't go in. So it's just not going to fit there. So here I'm going to try the G3 in a G2 case. It's going to go into 
the slots nicely, but it's just not going to fold down. So it's not going to work out. And then even if it could, uh, let's say magically this came down, I don't think this thing's even going to be able to reach over. Eh, it might. It might just barely reach over. But now you've got a wire going over the um, uh, the, uh, the the blades. I guess you could try putting it underneath. But still, again, it's just, it's just not going to fit. It's not going to fit in there. Okay, so G3 has to go into a G3. I, I guess you're kind of seeing the theme there. Now, this is the G4. So the G4 fan, its problem, this is trying to put it into a G2, is its problem is it's too wide. See, you notice it, if you can see, it doesn't, it, it won't, um, if I try to put it on one side, it starts, it's literally overhanging on the side there, so it's not gonna work. Let's try this and see what it looks like in the G3. And here we've got the G3, G4 fan. And, nope, ain't gonna work. It just, it's just, again, it's just too wide. It's not gonna fit, so. You know, you could probably, again, it could probably work in the connector, but it's just not going to fit. And it's very deceiving because, you you know, again, you look at these guys and they look like they would fit. But um, when you're dealing with such a small unit, everything has to be precise and perfect in there. And especially you've got the heat sink. The whole idea is trying to get the airflow to cool it off. It needs to mirror with that heat sink perfectly. Uh, nice and flush um, and fit in there. So anyway, listen, learn. I have seen sometimes on eBay, they'll list a fan as being for multiple things. You know, I've seen some that says it's good for G2, G3, you know, so forth. I would I would look at the, the um, part number that's on there and look it up on the HP part sur surfer. And just to confirm which one it should uh, fit. Or even better, take, go on part server, and like on here, what I would do, you could either grab the serial number or this, the product number, either one. If you do that, then you can look up, look for the part, normally it will say system fan. Use that part number. Don't be put off, uh, just FYI, you, you might be looking like this is 65 watt. Sometimes it'll say system fan 35 watt. That's just saying that this is, you know, a, a generic enough fan that you could use it on the 35 watt or the 65 watt system. So you know, don't be put off of that. But I would get that part number. Try that. Look it up on, on eBay and, and get it. Um, I personally have never purchased just a fan. Um, I think there may be even aftermarket fans some people have purchased. I think even Amazon was selling them. But really for the price, you could get a, you know, quote, genuine uh, HP one pretty much probably for the same price. But again, um, make sure and look to see what you've got and, um, you know, maybe even send a, uh, an email or, or a, you know, a message on eBay saying, hey, just wanted to make sure that this fits the blah, 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 you know, G2, G3, et cetera, so that that way at least you have something in writing that says that, yes, the seller said this is supposed to fit. So when it comes and you have an issue, you know, and you need to return, et cetera, then at least you can say, hey, I asked you before um, I ordered this and you said it was supposed to fit. One thing I wanted to point out because I was um, <laughs> having to go and reattach all these um, fans is to remember that you want to take on this connector, you'll see that it's got the, um, I guess what you call it, the, the copper wire or whatever on the outside there. And then, you know, just the, the plastic. The um, But if you look even closer, you'll see the, um, 
what looks like to be where the pins would go in, okay? And then if we look on here, real close, uh, it may be hard to see in the, in the light, but you've got the pins right there. So what we wanna make sure that when we're trying to maneuver to get it in there is that these are going toward the inside, which basically means then where you see the, the outer wires, those are going toward the outside. So in this particular case, I'm facing the, um, the, the I guess what you see, the, 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 the wires there toward the heat sink. So that way I can stick it right in. And then that way it will go over Ah, the pins, let's try this from this angle. Ah, there we go. Right on in. Okay. Because if you do it the other way, either it's not going to... Just, just basically not going to go in. Uh, if you do it too hard, you could bend the uh, the pins. So good thing to know.